up you guys okay we're back and uh today i'm going to show you guys how to do telekinesis i'm going to show you guys that we all have uh powers they don't even teach you or tell you that we have but we do have them okay so i'm not the only one here right it's just that people don't tell you to do this stuff so then automatically you kind of believe that you can't do it so that's part of it is like uh Leaving the Campbell Trust and different stuff here. This is a piece of tinfoil. We're just going to do an experiment with a bunch of different kinds of things. And I'll try to do it justice. Uh, I could probably do better if I'm alone being silent, but. So and again, if you pay attention, my will power and my desire is I want it to go clockwise with my left hand, so I'm pushing, and then I want it to go counterclockwise with my right hand. Okay, so that was a little piece of tin foil. You just bend it into like a little roof shape, so it'll spin. Okay, so then we're gonna try. We're gonna try some monies. <laughs> okay, think we can do this here, Tank? Let me if I stop yapping. Eh? You'll notice when you're learning that sometimes you'll do better with one side a certain day than the other. So like your left hand might work better than your right. So again, that was money, Canadian hundred dollar bill. So we're gonna try a little. I mean, a little this little guy here out of tin foil. We'll try that next. So this was like the money's plastic, and then this is a little tin man.
Okay, so there's this little guy. Okay. And again, if you're talking, it it's not going to be as easy to do, right? But if you're... Okay, so this is a playing card, a joker. Okay. So we're going to try, try with the joker. See what we do here. And so if you're trying to do heavier stuff, I guess, like the power's coming out of your chakras, right? And like part of it, so it's like they store the energy in there. So um, that's why I guess meditating and everything helps. But like sometimes if you have it closer to where your navel is and whatever, it'll help you. And then breathing helps too, like if you get lots of good air in you. I notice sometimes you'll try so hard. Sometimes you gotta make sure if it's balanced, I guess, too, because if something's like, I don't know what. Seems like it should be. See, that one's kicking her ass at the moment. I did this earlier today, though. I don't know if I was, like, practicing, playing around too much earlier or whatever, but... <laughs> okay, so this one here is a rolling paper. It's pretty light, so we'll see if this is going to be easier or not. We're going to find out. And I find it helps if you like cup your hand when you're trying to do it because I imagine the energy is going around like a clock kind of like it's projecting out. So there's that, there's that. Okay, we'll try this piece of paper. I guess we're trying so many things it's taking a while here, but bear with me guys. So, okay, so this is just a sheet of paper again. Yeah, and then I may be starting to get a little, we'll try the plastic money one again here for our finale. And then I'll try to 
do it justice to explain to you guys how you guys can uh, do this or get better and apply it better. So. Yeah, and so I've been doing this for over a half hour already, and I'm running my mouth over here too, so I don't know what the limits are to this. But uh, I'm just curious to learn stuff all the time, right? And you can see, I'll cover my mouth. <laughs> so, if you... Well, Like if you do blow on it, it's like a different, not like a different thing you're not going to. Anyway, okay, so you guys, what's going on here? So if you want to make a little practice thing so you can practice, this is just a little piece of marble I got from a statue and then I glued a tack on as you can see, right? And then, so you, my dog, you hear me, he's like, Arr! but uh, so yeah, how do you do this stuff? First off, I guess, believing you're able to do it, and like, we all know we have a soul, okay, so your soul has an aura, like your energy body, and then uh, mind over matter, right, that's what's going on here, so like, you can subtly learn to feel, like a little tingly feeling kind of, and then you'll get like a connection with the object that you're trying to move, like all of a sudden, when I was first learning, the object would go like ding, 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 ding. Like all of a sudden it wouldn't do what you want, but it would start dinging around a bit. And then like once you got that connection in with that thing, then uh, you can start moving it. And then, you know, some of the ancient wise men and other people have said, you know, all is mine. So we're connected with everything and there is a connection to everything so you can use this stuff um, I guess for moving objects and stuff but I think it's it, it shows you like your willpower force and like the energy that's coming out of you like ripples like every thought you throw is like a pebble thrown into the water and the ripples go out and your thoughts go out with like a certain energetic frequency and um, that's where you have to hold a continual desire and willed intention like if I'm wanting it to go clockwise I have to imprint that intention on it and I've played around where you can do it without your hands and again there is like you know not tuck my sleeve, no nothing. Like, you know, plastic isn't like magnetic or some crap like that anyways, or paper regardless. That's why I tried it with different things. Um, but yeah, I believe we can all do this and some kids have it naturally where, you know, they have like higher levels of stuff, but then you get to school and all this, people tell you it's impossible, you can't do it. Then you believe you can't do it. As soon as you believe you can't do it, you can't. And then you... <laughs> You know, so I think we should explore some of our uh, possibilities just to see what we are capable of and become more empowered as we go. And uh, yeah, stay blessed, you guys. Make the most of yourself, and we all win. Danimal out.